Greetings from Munich, Germany, where I'm here at the offices of Fujitsu, meeting me with my colleagues Jochen and Alex. Hello Hint, welcome to Fujitsu Munich. Hi. Welcome Hint, great to have you here. So excited to be here. Let's head for the meeting room, please follow me. So Jochen, tell us, how do you start your DX projects? For the fast and cost-effective development of AI and to process a large amount of data, our customers can leverage the Fujitsu DX innovation platform. Together, we are able to develop an AI end-to-end -end solution to support our customers with their business strategies. Sounds great. And can you give us an example of that, Alex? One customer, for example, they wanted to improve their customer services department and at the same time streamline their processes. So the DX innovation platform and the sentiment anal analyzer from Fujitsu was a very good fit for that. Let me show you the latest and newest version of the Fujitsu sentiment analyzer. So what you can see here is now feedback from social media about a certain topic that might be interesting for you, about your products, about your services, and it shows you in those graphs um, if this topic is perceived rather positive or negative in the market. We co-design digital transformation projects and engage then ecosystem partners like Brainpool for a joint development and a joint implementation. Let's just ask Kasia Borowska from Brainpool about her perspectives. Hi, Kasia. Thank you, Alex. With Sentiment Analyzer tool, for example, that we developed jointly with Fujitsu, we were able to engage some of the best engineers and machine learning specialists. We leveraged the Intel, Open, Vino, and Hugging Face pre-trained models, which saved us huge amounts of time on the AI development. Thank you very much, Kasia. In our example, uh, Fujitsu and Brainpool were able to put to production a German sentiment analysis model using OpenVINO for software optimization and uh, using our latest 4-gen Xeon scalable processor as our hardware. This helped improve the inference performance by leveraging advanced matrix extensions. We are looking at around four times the performance improvement from gen over gen. Intel recognizes that to be successful with AI, developers um, need an integrated AI platform with hardware, software, as well as a partner ecosystem. And this combination is what really helped Brainpool and Fujitsu uh, remove the complexity uh, that is sometimes inherent to the AI and accelerated the building of um, AI and the deployment um, on the Fujitsu DX in innovation platform. The Fujitsu DX Innovation Platform is made for a fast and flexible realization for extraordinary results in AI projects. Built-in accelerators and Intel OpenVINO kickstart our projects. And the good thing about OpenVINO is that it comes with pre-trained AI models for all our AI projects and we can run those projects without um, discrete accelerators. AI is meaningful for me because it gives us the possibility to combine latest AI technology from Fujitsu, from Intel, from Brainpool, from our ecosystem partners and help our partners and customers to become data-driven and more resilient. And now, back to our studios where Udo and Sandra will continue the conversation. So Udo, thank you so much for joining us here today. Yeah, thank you, and it's really a honor to be here at Intel. So Udo, what were your technology requirements for defining the platform that you're offering to customers? On one hand, of course, low latency, because when customers are using the platform, it has to be very responsive. Energy consumption, because this is playing a major role. We are facing climate change everywhere. Energy consumption has to be reduced, and I think, therefore, the new uh, Gen 4 uh, Xeon platform will be a great step forward in this respect. And what we have seen with the uh, Gen 4 Xeon is really now the, the capability that you have dedicated accelerators in place. So we have accelerators for AI, which is very important for us. So making sure that we can bring the workload to dedicated unit on the chip and really making sure that the CPU can do whatever they want. And having support from the framework perspective, so which means support from TensorFlow, PyTorch, OpenVINO, MXNet, 
we see also with the new fourth generation of the Xeon processors an enormous uh, speed up because with the tile technology and that you have dedicated accelerators to multiply those metrics, uh, making sure that the data can be uh, moved very quickly from one point to the other. And this um, allows us really to squeeze the most out of the CPU. And what we see in most of the cases, the CPU is more than good enough to do training and of course uh, inference as well. And this is um, yeah, what we are targeting for. Yeah, well that was part of the architecture decisions that, that we made, which is how can we incorporate more acceleration into the uh, base CPU platform. So what are the ways customers are using the platform? One of the projects I really would like to highlight, uh, because I'm involved in this project, is Asfinac. Asfinac is a company is operating and maintaining highways in Austria. What we would like to do with this R&D project we are doing with Asfinac is really detecting electric vehicles. And unfortunately, there is no standardization in the European Union. In Germany, we have an E at the end of the number plate. In Austria, it's a green color of the characters of the number plate. So which means we have to detect an attribute of the character, which is the green color. But there are also some emblems on the plate itself. And this is not an easy task, um, but we have seen in the first stage that we were capable to do 2.3 detections per second. This was okay-ish. And then we have um, a chat with the colleagues here from Intel, and they said, yeah, we can improve this. And then they have done an improvement with OpenVINO, and all of a sudden we are now capable to achieve a detection rate of 30 images per second with the existing Xeon technology. And with the new Gen 4, we are expecting a significant improvement because the numbers that we have seen from Intel, they are really yeah, unbelievable. All great examples of where we are having a positive impact and driving that time to value, accelerating that, uh, that pace of innovation. You know, what are you excited about in terms of the future? What we see right now is there is a hurdle um, from a customer point of view for the first step into AI. And I would call the new Xeon generation really democratizing AI because you must have a server in place already. And when you have all of those capabilities, you have accelerators, um, it's super fast and you can handle the data, you can use cryptography, uh, compression, decompression, and all of those aspects. Yeah, well, that is our, our purpose, our mission, to democratize AI, to uh, drive uh, outcomes that improve the lives of, of every person on Earth. Udo, thank you again for talking with us today and for sharing so many great examples of the high impact work we're driving together and how we use technology for good. Yeah, and thank you for the opportunity being here.